nothing good comes easy. I almost didn't make this video because the lighting wasn't working. I got frustrated. But then I was reminded that in anything that you try to do, there'll be challenges. That's why consistency is one of the most difficult things. Um, there's this TikTok I saw the other day, which was talking about the fact that if you're not consistent, the real deeper issue is because you don't believe in what you are doing. You don't believe in your message. Because imagine... If you're a preacher, you see like all those evangelists who go out every day preaching and talking. When they wake up, they so believe that God has personally called them to go and preach the word of God. So they go out and they start at the market, they go on buses and they do it. It's like they believe it. Like religious zealots actually have that undying belief in the calling of God upon their life. So... If you also have that belief in whatever it is that you're doing, let's say it's your work. Let's say me, for example, if I'm going to be doing YouTube and I really believe that what I have to come and say on YouTube is important, I will find the strength every day to overcome whatever challenges will come my way just to put it out there because I'll be like, no, this video I'm making, somebody's life depends on this video. So it's my duty and my job to get up and do it. Anyway, my name is Zakia Kunge. I'm back. <laughs> where have i been oh boy it's been long man if you watch my last video link you're gonna find a link somewhere here you realize that of course i'm expecting my face baby and no i'm not going to stop talking about it okay when you have your face baby so you can also talk about it this is my channel and so you know dealing with all the issues that comes to pregnancy and let me just say shout outs to doctors doctors are lifesavers um full disclosure i have fibroids so it's made this pregnancy very complicated for me and a few weeks ago i was going through immense pain i was warned that one of the things to expect with fibroid and pregnancy is the pain but nothing prepared me for that pain like the pain started it was steady it was steady then it got worse it, it, got, it got so much worse like one night i'm in the hall my partner's in the kitchen and it attacked like i was in so much pain i could barely shout for help i couldn't call siri i couldn't call my partner's name i was doubled like it was the worst thing i'd ever been through in my life luckily he was able to somehow feel or sense that i needed him came to see me take me to the emergency and trust me before then i had a quran on my bed i had a bible on my bed i was praying the surah of fata in the Quran, I was praying some 23, all the healing psalms. Nothing was working. Then when we went to the hospital, okay, I was just like, daughter, get this baby out of me. Like, I just want to live. Like, I was so sure. It felt like somebody was ripping me from inside. It felt like my internal organs were being ripped out. It was the most pain I've ever been in my life. I was like, daughter, just do whatever you have to do. And they told me that it was going to be okay. I didn't believe them. Guess what? In two, three days' time, I was brand new. So, like, if you're a doctor watching this, yo, you guys are, like, the real MVPs. You guys, like, God bless doctors. God bless absolute doctors. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. And so that's what's been happening. But I'm back. And right now, I'm back with a new confidence. And today I just came on. I hope to be doing these daily vlogs. I don't want to jinx myself and say I'll do them every day. Because every time I say I'm going to do something every day, something goes wrong. But I'll do my best to be updating you guys every single day with whatever little knowledge that I have. In the hope that somebody watching this will also find something that will help improve your life. So know that consistency is key. And if you want to be consistent, you have to start believing in your message, right? So when I broke down this evening, what just got to my head was like, hmm. Okay, it's what I have to say important. If it's important, I have to find the strength to do it, right? So find the strength to do what you have to do. I personally have been struggling with believing in myself and believing in my voice. Believe it or not, as an artist, um, it's not always easy because I'm, an, I'm not yet a successful artist, right? So it becomes so hard between like following what I want to do and then seeing what successful artists are doing and then like i get tempted like okay maybe i should also be making this kind of music 
maybe i should also be doing this so every single day you realize that like the plan keeps changing and it's just i'm trying to just like listen to myself more and believe that my path and my journey is also different and i got amazing news today right so i'm sitting down and i'm just like thinking about life and thinking about like how can i make things better and then my stepmom calls me and then she says listen someone is playing your song and i'm like uh-huh she's probably going to show my song to one of her friends and they're playing dear god in the background i'm like okay yeah we're a friend she's like no she actually took an uber and the uber driver was playing my song like you cannot believe it like it is i don't know this is like i feel like this is like an i made it kind of movement like yeah he said the uber driver randomly was playing my song and then she's like oh that's my daughter and then she called me and i spoke to the guy and then he said he saw me on tv on an interview on tv and then he decided to go check out the song and he found it on spotify and he likes the song so like yeah and you know just how god speaks to you at times when you need to hear his voice so in the midst of me like feeling doubtful about the genre of music that i'm doing and whether or not i should continue having this kind of testimony come out of nowhere randomly it's like an encouragement it's a sign that hey girl keep going keep going so not to preach and there's nothing wrong with preaching anyway if you are watching this keep going the devil wants you to fail you are going to doubt it there are going to be so many challenges and maybe i'm saying this to myself there are going to be so many reasons every single day when you want to do something everything will go wrong and uh-huh that reminds me like the one thing i wish i had known from an early age is that nothing good in life comes easy seriously like i think when you put that in your head you stop getting surprised at when things go wrong you just you, you you kind of like expect challenges and when they come you're like okay so this is what i have to overcome to get to the goal so i want to encourage someone out there that when there's a challenge it does not mean that you're not supposed to keep going the challenge is necessary the challenge is the door that you need to open or break through to get to the destination that you need to go without a challenge it's an open road it's free nobody likes free things if it was easy to get into twist nine club nobody wants to go to twist nine club but because there are bounces it's an achievement where you can get through to twist nine club it was easy to buy a lexus or a bmw no one would want them everyone wants expensive stuff so when you have a dream and it's big you need to go through the bouncer you need to go through the door you need to go through the gatekeepers and then when you do that you will get there but the fact that there's a gatekeeper means that there is a gate and you can do it so zakia this is my motivation to myself and this is my motivation to you out there and it's been good talking to you guys me this is what i'm eating right now so take care mm. Move now.